After a long day of work, music is usually more necessary than any other point. But sometimes your brain is just a little too warped. It's a little too melty to decide exactly what you want to listen to. So what I've got for you today is five of the best post-work albums that'll take care of any mood and any issues or great days that you had at work. The first post-work album I'm going to recommend you have in your collection is Black Sabbath's Paranoid. Honestly, any of the first five Sabbath records will definitely work. They're going to get you the same idea, but the differences on Paranoid, it's got a lot of hooks. And honestly, after a rough day, sometimes Sometimes you just need to sing along with the Ozman. It just helps. Along with that, Paranoid is filled with massive tumbling guitar riffs. They'll get you re-energized, they're gonna get your air guitar going, and they're just gonna get you in a better mood. But don't sleep on the second side of this record. The second side of Paranoid is one of my all-time favorites. For my money, it's the better side, and it's one of the best moments in the entire Black Sabbath catalog. Whether you're frustrated and you just need to get all that anger out, whether you had a great day and you're trying to celebrate through music, it combines that darkness, that anger, with kick-ass rock and roll, every Everything you could possibly need. The reality is, you can never go wrong with Black Sabbath after a hard day of work, and this is a really good one to go with. Speaking of relaxing through channeling anger, you can always count on the self-titled album from Rage Against the Machine to help you in that area. This one can wipe away even the worst of work days, and honestly, I've used it a lot of times in the past, and it always works. Every single song is packed with so much fury that it can even help you on the worst of days when you want to clock one of your coworkers. You might want to keep this one handy in case you need it on your lunch break. This one has been known to to save jobs and it's been doing it for more than 20 years. Whether you need to scream along, headbang, or just let those rhythms realign your frustration, Rage does it every single time and you can pretty much pick any song on this album to start with. You can put it on shuffle, you can listen to it in order, it doesn't matter, it always works. One note though, you probably shouldn't drive listening to this after work. It may make you want to ride off the road and hit a pedestrian and you could end up in a little bit more trouble. But as long as you're not trying to mow down pedestrians and you're not driving, Rage Against the Machine, great choice. Now sometimes Sometimes you just want to cool down and cool out after work. It's been a long, rewarding day, and you just want to pull your brain back from what I like to call pudding stage. When you're in that state of mind, there's nothing better than Isaac Hayes' Hot Butter Soul. Few albums can instantly raise my spirits and get me ready for the evening ahead as quickly as this one. It overflows with cool, smooth rhythms and pretty much forces a smile onto your face. I mean, yeah, this album is pretty much perfect for any occasion, but when you're driving, walking, whatevering home from work, this one is gonna put a strut in your step every time. And it can really be the ideal complement to a rewarding day at the office. When you need cool, when you need chill, always go to this album. It never fails. And there's few records that are going to make a more inviting post-work evening than this one. You gotta have it. My fourth recommendation after a long day of work is the self-titled album from Van Halen. Honestly, whether it was a bad day or a great day, a bit of Diamond Dave is always an awesome pick. And their self-titled debut for me is about as good as that band ever got. From the iconic riffs of Eddie Van Halen to that pulsing rhythm section to Dave just being Dave, for me, this is the go-to record that can put any day behind me and really want me to get into the night. Few vocals overflow with good time party feelings as much as Dave. That's just a given fact. And almost every single one of these songs has become an anthem onto itself over the years. Running with the Devil, Janie's Crying, their cover of You Really Got Me, of course Ice Cream Man is on this album. It's all here and this album will have you ready to do some jump kicks and crazy spins in no time. I mean let's face it, Van Halen is the answer to most of life's problems and this situation is no different. The last post-work record I want to recommend to you is called Honey Divosh by the group Date Palms. This suggestion is definitely one of the big secrets. Those people who know this album love it and cherish it. It is an amazing piece of musical work. This is for those days when your brain is just exhausted and you need something that's gonna kind of make it a bit melty in a good way. You know, soothing music that isn't too new agey, isn't too boring, and is cool but doesn't get too aggressive and kind of lets you relax. This record is perfect in its own unique way for that situation. And for my money, one of the keys is it runs the ideal length. It's just a shade over 30 minutes. And and for me, that's the amount of time you need to revitalize yourself without making it a pain to do anything later in the evening. The soundscapes they create on the two tracks are fantastic and they slowly melt everything away. But they're also able to give you a simmering energy that make you feel whole again. It moves slowly, but it won't put you to sleep. And the way they work all the sounds and create all the movement on these tracks, it's just superb. Trust me on this one, when your brain and your body are tired, this album is exactly what you need. Now there is one more, it's a bonus album if you will, but the key is it's gonna be different for every single one of you. After a particularly bad or challenging day at work, you're gonna wanna find yourself a quiet, maybe dark or dim room and get that album that you can completely lose yourself in. You know, the record that can kinda make the world fall away. For a lot of you, it's that album you've always been able to hide in. You know what I mean. For me, it's this record and it's been this record for more than 20 years. This is my go-to really bad day album. Whatever that album is for you, 
it should always be handy because it works like nothing else, right? So there you go, a few records to help you enjoy the best and brush off the worst days you can have at work. Hop down in the comments and let me know what your favorite post-work albums are. You can follow me on Twitter and Facebook right here, and I'll see you guys again next time. Oh!